One of those stars on the wall has got to be safe. Safe is part of Orion? I can... So if this is Orion, then safe is... Boom. Good job finding safe, Max. Why, thank you, Max. Now then. No, no, no! Shit, I can't let him see me in here. I'm so close to getting Safi's camera. If I can just distract him for a few minutes, I think I can grab it. I'll need something noisy. No, I can't leave without Sophie's camera. Good thing I can keep an eye on Alderman from here. Wouldn't want to sh- I can't leave here without Sophie's camera. Here goes. What the hell? And now I need to shift out of here fast. Time to finally get what I came here for in the first place. Hey! Is someone down there? Stupid telescope! Why couldn't Moses have put you together in this timeline? Fuck. That's... That's new. Oh shit. 
I totally forgot to grab Safi's camera. I'm so close to getting Safi's camera. Holy shit! The telescope and all the parts switched places. Gotta run. Sorry, I... I'll text you. Yo, what? Moses. Caulfield, can I speak with you for a minute? You should go. Please, have a seat. I just wanted you to have a chance to talk to me alone. Because Miss Llewellyn was a close friend of yours. We have a sensitive situation. We know Miss Llewellyn's camera was taken by someone closely linked to her death. Now, I'm pretty certain I know who took it and why. Maybe you've even guessed my thinking. If we're going to make any progress on your friend's case, that's not enough. Therefore, I'm asking you if you have or come by any information about this person or where they've taken the camera, can I trust you to let me know? Miss Caulfield. Okay, Miss Caulfield. I hope you don't actually have information. Because, you know, withholding it could get you into trouble. Thank you for your concern, Detective. I'll keep that in mind. That's everything. I believe I'm free to go, right? Yes. You are. Thanks again for your time, Miss Caulfield. Have a good day. Oh. Oh, shit. Moses, wait.
I said for so long that I built a home. They tap at the windows and think they were bones. Lay hands on the bricks and I'd swear from inside I could feel it. Now here you are with your mallet and light out of your own house. You think it's all right? Don't touch my windows, my bricks or my rules. I won't hear it. Open the door. How do I know? Stillness means end, or is danger just slow? I do not trust you, don't trust myself, but someone was listening when I called for help. Can't tell the difference on unsteady floor. Will I be rewarded or lose even more? Safety in numbers, but I never said I was ready. Find the skull rustler. Save Safi. Hopefully. And my best leads are Lucas Colmanero and the Abraxas Society. Vin's the head honcho of Abraxas. I could start with him. Maybe I should do a little digging into Gwyn Hunter too. She was acting pretty odd earlier. Time to start asking questions. Whoever fucked with Safi's car isn't just going to out themselves. Wise words. I need to ask around about Safi's car. That's my handwriting. Wait, am I the mystery photographer? I thought we said no more ambushes. Stop whining, you're fine. Uh, it's freezing. I can't believe you dragged me outside for this. First of all, they're way too big to be normal. Men, what's stopping you from dressing like... Abraxas was at the Snapping Turtle when the skull went missing. Finn's head of Abraxas. Maybe he knows something. I can probably find Gwen in her office. And I think Lucas has a habit of working over by the cafe. Elect Can you give me a second? 
Surely another minute and a half isn't going to taint the building with my presence. Just leave everything behind, Professor. You won't need any university materials. Yeah, but I do need my car keys if you want me to leave the campus, don't I? Think. You're not to return to Caledon property before the hearing under penalty of law. I know how this works. You don't need to read me my rights. Just doing my job, Professor. That'll go over great in Nuremberg. This is crazy. This is fucking crazy. I told Yasmin already that none of it's true. She knows it's fucking bullshit. Wow. This is all just I guess some something kind of crazy screwy is going thing. down here, too. But at least. Yeesh. I wonder what that was about. Pretty sure you need a time machine to even find a phone booth now. This looks like one hell of an art final. I should check it up. Maybe I need to do something first to get it to work? Okay, uh, what do I want to say to the future? There's so much more to your life than just the past. It's hard, but try to move on. What he's doing is wrong. It always felt like it was, but now I know it's true. I was starting to think my writing just wasn't good enough. How fucked is that? But she stood up for me. Nobody else has ever done that. Ever. So you know what? Fuck that guy. I won't stop writing because he's uncomfortable. That's my message to the future. Wow. Whatever he was talking about, I hope it worked out. Damn. I didn't know a phone booth could feel like a personal attack. It's easy to give advice. A lot harder to take it. I love this. It's like a confessional without all the obligations. Wow. But at least... Yeesh. I wonder what that was about. I should talk to Finn about the cow skull. And, uh, don't get cute, either. You find it, you bring it right back to me. Find it! Undergrads, <laughs> am I right?
Can't live with them. Can't run a shadowy, secret society without them. <laughs> you ever want to borrow one, just let me know. No one should be without a lackey, Max. And yet, I've made it this far somehow. You lose something? Mostly my patience. Okay. Hey, I... Um, yeah, yeah. Cute banter, barely restrained sexual tension, etc. I'm busy, Max. Another time. Wow. Okay. What does Vin have them looking for? Let's say I find your missing patients. Then I wouldn't be busy anymore, would I? Ben seems really distracted. Whatever he lost must be important. Waiting for someone, Diamond? Mm-hmm. Moses. He asked me to help him carry snacks back to the lab, but I guess he forgot. Isn't that kind of menial for a TA? So my job is menial now? I didn't. I'm fucking with you. <laughs> nah, Moses probably just got distracted. Off polishing his new telescope. If it were anyone but him, I'd ask if that was a euphemism. <laughs> Those Abraxas kids are really staring, huh? That one on the left is super into me. I danced with him once, once at a club last week. He's cute. I get it. I guess. If that's your vibe. <laughs> My sights are set a bit higher. Besides, they're on the clock for Vin now. Probably trying to catch me in unabraxis like behavior. Why are they focused on you? <laughs> Vin's shook. I'm an actual threat to his reign, and he can't abide competition. I think Vin's lost something. It's clearly rattled him. I'll, uh, go ask the goon squad. Good call. Like an ex -fill. They have our man and he... Hey, so Diamond told me she doesn't feel comfortable with you two staring at her. You tell me what Ven's looking for and I won't tell him you're skeeving on a fellow Abraxas member. Good talk. There has to be some way I can hear what they're saying I should saying see what those Abraxas goons are up to. Vin seems really distracted. Whatever he lost. Daily platypus facts. Is this what I've been... Honestly, how often do opportunities like this come along?
I wonder when my subscription kicks in. Things are good, sir. You look a bit... What do drugs have to do with our murder, sir? They might not be murderers, but none of those kids is innocent. They're just kids being kids. Honestly, they all seem pretty shook up about what happened. I feel kind of bad even being here. Who's the CEO here? You trust me? Sure. You're the boss. We watch out for our own. Checking in an hour. Sir. I should see what those Abraxas goons are up to. Vin's phone? And they think it was Diamond. I can use this. Those Abraxas kids think Diamond took Finn's phone. And Abraxas, too. Why would Vin's goons think she took his phone? If I want to find Vin's phone, I should talk to Diamond. Maybe she can lead me in the right direction. Those Abraxas kids think Diamond took Finn's phone. So, if you're wondering why those Abraxas kids are eyeballing you, it's because someone stole Finn's phone. Oh, seriously? <laughs> they think it was me? <laughs> the clownery! Of course! Of course they do! Of course! <laughs> uh. 
So, was it you? Here I was thinking they didn't let artists and residents join Abraxas. I'm not. And yet you're over here digging through my business on Vin's orders? Take it, that's a no. That's correct, Max. I didn't steal Vin Lang's phone. So, are you and Vin rivals? Enemies? To hear him tell it? Both. And to hear you tell it? Vin is... one of those yappy little purse dogs who swears he's a pit. You don't exactly strike me as the typical, uh, Abraxan. <laughs> In the Vin Lang mold? God, no. But the org itself has potential. If we could just get him away from it. You ever think about being, I don't know, Abraxas' boss? <laughs> Queen. <laughs> High priest. President. I would love to. Okay. Cool. Thanks, Diamond. And hey, if you talk to Vin again, tell him the only thing I'm taking from him is his crown. If Finn stops focusing on Diamond, maybe he'll answer some questions. So... Bad news? I'm not sure who took your phone. Good news? It wasn't Diamond. Holy shit. You figured all that out with, like, zero clues? I just knew who to ask. And how. <laughs> so... About my question. I'm free Tuesday after seven, and I'm partial to a Japanese single malt. That's whiskey? <laughs> yes, but damn, do I have so much to teach you. So your place or mine? Cute, and at least a little tempting, but that's not what I was going to ask. Ooh, no fun. <laughs> so, someone fucked up Sophie's car. They didn't take anything, but they used a cow skull to do it. Jesus. Max, that's crazy. Is she okay? She's fine. Who would do something like that, though. You mean, who in Abraxas would? It's esoteric enough to feel like the handiwork of your, uh, organization. <laughs> A cow skull. <laughs> what are we, Leonard Skinner? Come on, this one is way outside our wheelhouse. Anytime some nonsense happens on campus, people trip over themselves accusing Abraxas. Vandalism, destruction of property, that's beneath us, Max. We're performers. The audience wasn't impressed. That's how you know it wasn't us. And besides, how do you even get a cow skull through a windshield? Hold on. I didn't say anything about our windshield. 
wild, right? Mm. I'd love to keep chatting and freezing my balls off, but I've got a phone to find. And if I need to reach you? I'll end up in my office eventually. Ben, what did you do? <sighs> Glad my other suspects had the sense to stay indoors. I should head inside. I wonder if the artist who made this lived in Hellerton House at some point. I don't want to freeze my ass off any more than I have to. Gwen was acting really weird the other day.
understand this crime involved a biohazard? One night, as I was closing the turtle, I went to restock the bathroom and I saw that someone had taken a dookie in the sink. And they left some dookie smeared toilet paper on the ground. But who's dookie? And who would go over to the toilet, get toilet paper, and then go shit in the sink? This was premeditated. It lit a fire in my passion for justice. And I became dead set on finding the perpetrator. I took it straight to Joe, one of my regulars, who's studying microbiology at Caledon. I will now do a dramatic reading of our conversation. Loretta, can you be Joe? Here. Uh, okay. Amanda, please don't bring me poop. We don't do that kind of testing here. Do you know any other science places I could take this to? There is no science place that is just going to test a fecal sample for DNA. Not because it's completely in fucking sane, though it is, but because a DNA test needs two samples, one of the source and one of the test. You only have the test. So, even if you found a lab that would test a fecal sample, they could only find out if your perpetrator was eating enough fiber for daily regularity. <laughs> You'd have to bring another DNA sample of everyone who's ever been to your bar. What about... a pube? If you bring me poo, or pubes, or anything else, I'll have you banned from campus. This is out of hand. Some frat guy shit in the sink. Let it go. He storms back into the science place. You mean... lab? I said what I meant. I turn real dramatic-like with only one thought. How am I gonna steal everybody's pubes? The biggest untold true crime story of the century. I need to start somewhere. Lucas or Gwen? Max. <sighs> Sorry. Busy, busy. Um, need something? Actually, I... Catherine. I've been waiting for an hour. No, just put Robbie on. Oh, sure. I'm only the boy's father. Who fucking cares, right? How can you say- Whoa. Adds a whole new meaning to nuclear family. If Lucas has it out for Safi, there might be something incriminating in that case. Is that an email? Dated December 5th. That's when Sophie's car was vandalized. I need to get in that briefcase. Yeah. That's ludicrous. Yes, I was a shitty father in the past, but I've never intended.
son. I would never. Yes, I'm fucking sober, Catherine. It's been two years. What the hell kind of question is that? I'm being hysterical? Me? Wow. That's fucking rich. Put my fucking son on the phone. Amanda said Lucas donated the cow skull to the snapping turtle. Pretty sure you need a time machine to even find it. Gwen was acting really weird the other day. Finn said he'd be back at his desk. Hi, Mama. Dignity restored. And not even a thank you? Rude. Back to normal. Guess Finn's not back yet. Finn said he'd be back at his desk. That's the fourth bottle I've seen our fearless leader open this afternoon. I'm going up there with or without you. I have to see it with my own eyes. Of course, I know what they're doing. My grief isn't affecting my brain. No, no, no! Don't tell them that! No! Pick a card, any card. Or... I actually did know... Fucking shit! Oh. Oh! Max. <laughs> it's just you. Huh? What can I do you for? Are you pouring whiskey into your coffee? Yes. Any particular reason why? World is a fuck, etc., etc. Join me. 
How many of those do you have? Ooh, just don't check the recycling. <laughs> Is this about Safi? <sighs> Safi, Safi, Safi. Everything is about Safi nowadays. This isn't about Safi, Max. This is about you and me. Right. Come on. Uh, illicit day drinking with your coworkers is sexy. Be sexy, Max. I think I'll pass on the sexiness. Ooh, yes. Aw, poor little guy. What happened to you? Please, don't touch that. It was a gift. I plan on gluing it back together. Fun for whom, exactly? Wait, so... What are you saying? So this Gwen just got escorted out by security, while Dead World Gwen is having hushed phone calls about the police and trying to break into locked bookcases. Time to snoop like I've never snooped before. I had decided I would hitchhike across the country. If I still wanted to die when I got to the Pacific, then I could do it peacefully. Hell of an opening line, Gwen. Drink up, buddy.
It's like a bumper sticker evolved into a bookend. Busy woman. Why would Sophie have started acting off on Friday? Something must have happened. Why would Sophie have started acting off? That must have been some call with Marie. You would Gwen cancel her week. All right, Hacker Max. Let's go. Search sent to Maria. Uh, enter. Wait, this is Safi's publisher. Gwen got Safi's book canceled? I thought Gwen helped Sophie set this all up in the first place. Why would she? No, this all has to add up. Somehow. Lucas tends to work over by the cafe. By the way, did you get your ticket to the Burlington Book Expo yet? Uh, no. Going to the Nationals. Your grandfather would have been proud, Robbie. Of course. I... Wow. Just... Wow. Robbie, I got a split. Uh-huh. <laughs> I love you too, buddy. Weird. This yep. Lucas seems you to bet. be on great terms with his family. Hey. Bye. Lucas. Max. Can't imagine it would be much fun to assassinate my character without an audience. <laughs> 